Did you know that Google Chrome is the most popular browser throughout the whole world? Well, in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to download and install Google Chrome onto your own computer. Hi everyone, my name's Guy and you're watching Guy's Guides, where I try to provide simple technology guides to help you with your online adventure. This is the first video of a new series focusing on Google Chrome, the most popular web browser throughout the whole world. You may be thinking, what is a web browser? Well, nowadays, a web browser is honestly probably the most important tool on your computer. And that's because a web browser is what allows us to navigate throughout the whole World Wide Web, visiting all of those wonderful websites out there. There are a few web browsers out there including Firefox, Safari, or Internet Explorer. But Google Chrome is the most popular, hence why in this video we're going to focus on how you can download and install Google Chrome onto your computer so that we can all follow the simple tips to then make the most out of our web browser. So before we start going through those simple steps of how to download and install Google Chrome, the first thing is to run through a couple of facts. So Google Chrome is a web browser that you can install on any type of device. Whether it's a Windows computer or an Apple computer, everyone can use Google Chrome. Now that's not the case, for example, with Safari, which is only available on Apple devices. The second fact is that Google Chrome can be used on a computer, but it can also be used on a tablet or mobile device. And you can use Google Chrome just by simply going to the App Store and downloading Chrome. The logo is always the same, so look for that logo, install Google Chrome, and use it to its full capacity. And finally, in order to use Google Chrome, you don't need a Google account. A Google account does have some specific advantages, and we'll go through those in a later video. But for the moment, and in order to discover Google Chrome and its basic functionalities, no need for you to create an account. So let's get cracking and look at how you can now download and install Google Chrome onto your computer. The first thing that we need to do is go onto the World Wide Web so that we can find the place where we can download Google Chrome. Open up your usual web browser and then type in download Google Chrome. So here I can see one which is called Google Chrome, download the fast secure browser from Google. If you don't have any luck in searching for download Google Chrome, Look in the description below of the video where I've put the link where you can download Google Chrome straight away just by clicking on that link. So here we're on the Google site. I have a simple button called Download Google Chrome here. I click on that and now Google is going to guide me through the setup of Google Chrome. So here I happen to know that I am on a Mac with an Apple chip. So I'm just going to click here. If you're on a Windows computer, Google will also guide you through the exact steps of what you need to do. So anyway, I'm going to select the version here by clicking on Mac with Apple chip. When I do that, a file starts downloading. We can see the blue bar progressing here, and when it reaches the end, that will be our file downloaded and ready for us to use. Google provides really simple steps in order to install Google Chrome, and you can literally just follow along exactly what they say right here. So the step one, as we've just done, is to open the Google Chrome file once it's downloaded. So we can find that up here in our downloads file. But if you're on Internet Explorer, you just need to look for your downloads file too. And once it's finished, we can then double click on that file to open it. You can see here that my computer is starting to open Google Chrome so that we can then follow step two, which is to make sure that Google Chrome is in our applications folder. So if I just move this across here, look, we're exactly on step two, where we need to move this funky Google Chrome icon by clicking and then dragging down into the applications folder. When it starts flashing, I just let go, and that's now putting Google Chrome into my applications folder. We then move on to the third and final step, which says here that in order to launch, we go to our launch pad, type in Chrome, in order to find it. And here we are, our simple but funky Google Chrome icon. And when I click on it, I'm then asked whether I want to open this app that I've just downloaded from the internet. 
This is just for security purposes to make sure that it really is you who decided to open Google Chrome. So I'm going to click on open here and this is going to open my Google Chrome page ready now for us to use. Hopefully this video helped you and if that's the case please do like and subscribe to our channel so that we can provide more and more videos to help people with their online adventure. And join us in the next video where we'll look at all of the basic functionalities of Google Chrome and how to use them in order to continue on our online adventure.